links in the description if you like this video please do like comment subscribe share as you see fit have a look at some of the other videos that i've made see if this is your kind of thing um, essentially i read through articles true crime most of it's murder and torture and very very dark things but uh this is this is slightly different um uh, but if you do like it then stick around um gonna read through the article but whilst i do i'll play you a video um so i'll read the headline to begin with to begin with going out with a bang disgruntled employee blows up oil warehouse in thailand causing nine hundred thousand pounds worth of damage so that's i think uh, i've not looked at the currency exchange for a while that's about a million and a half us i think maybe a little bit more nine hundred thousand pounds worth of damage because she was sick of her boss okay so gonna play this video uh, so you can look at that with the audio off um and this is gonna you know show the employee starting the fire inside the oil warehouse and then whilst you're watching that i'll read through the article let's see if that's interesting Okay, so a disgruntled employee allegedly blew up an oil warehouse where she worked in Thailand because she was fed up of her boss complaining and causing her stress. Anne Shreya, 38 years of age, allegedly set a piece of paper on fire and threw it on a, onto a fuel container, causing a blaze that engulfed the proper corn oil warehouse in Nakhon Pathum province on November the 29th. She was arrested and confessed to committing arson, claiming she was driven by the stress her employer, Pipat Ungprapakorn, 65 years of age, had caused her, according to the police. CCTV footage that we're currently watching shows Miss Shreya, who worked as head of the warehouse, walking into the warehouse, clutching what appears to be a piece of paper before walking behind a row of containers. Ooh. let's uh mute that um so yeah there, there, there's evidence there of uh some wrongdoing another clip appears to show flames flickering on top of a container in the single story warehouse which stores thousands of gallons of oil tanks the inferno which caused nine hundred thousand pounds worth of damage uh spread quickly due to the flammable material in the tanks and dramatic pictures show fireballs and dark plumes of smoke billowing out of the warehouse. More than 40 fire engines worked to ex extinguish the blaze, while video footage showed firefighters spraying water from high-pressure hoses onto the blackened structure. Um, okay. Took four hours for emergency services to bring the fire under control. Um, a villager reportedly suffered burns on her arm and was rushed to hospital but she is now out of danger um, 10 houses were damaged so the lady miss shreya has been arrested um, and apparently she's confessed to committing arson uh, she claimed she was driven in her actions by the stress her employer had caused her uh, and uh, the local police general says this is the second time a fire has started from this factory the woman has been working for the company for nine years she said her employer complained to her and caused her stress every day and she did not expect the fire she started to cause this level of damage um, she was remanded in custody while police investigated further so there we go uh we could have a look at some of the the pictures um oops let's let's close that so we could have a look at some of the pictures um it's a pretty big fire if you ask me i'm not an expert on fires but uh, it's quite a lot heck of a lot of damage i mean in essence pardon my french but some crazy bitch burnt down her a factory because uh she was uh, you know in a bit of a mood i mean come on love you know if you're if you're unhappy with your employer quit you know it is a job you're not a slave you are able to walk away 
Uh, and I know that's easier said than done because people need wages. But, you know, you're not really going to maintain a wage when you burn the factory down, are you? So, I don't know. There's a lot of craziness going on in the world. Why is that? Is that just humans being humans? Or is there something going on around the world that is causing more stress? Hmm, let's have a think about that.